Good morning. It's Friday. Peace. <laughs> That's how I feel when I met Karen Chiron. I was at an event and we were we were just standing there and she had these beautiful, beautiful bowls. And I was like, what is that? They were so intriguing. And so she's going to go into them in just a minute. But before we start, if you don't mind, I'd like to start our discussion with just a little bit of a quote. It's from our Difference Maker quotes, and it's, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. It's by Gandhi. And you're right. I just, I love these. They're and beautiful. So when I met you, I just thought you, you had it on a beautiful dress. It was very flowing. and. And you just were the epitome of peace to me. Mm -hmm. And so I'd love for you to talk a little bit about what you do and, and what, what, are, what is that? <laughs> what is this? Well, thank you for having me here. And it was such a pleasure at that event and all the girls and, uh, that you were helping you. and sharing. Um, my name's Karen Truon. Um, my background is I'm a registered nurse. So I did all, worked in hospitals. Um, for traditional medicine for over 30 years and then uh, became injured myself and found that that we're more than a physical body wow. and what is the emotional things going on mental stress and that to incorporate all of that so um, we're all energy <laughs> and how we can bring ourselves into balance like you said peace and that sleep and nurture ourselves with sleep. And I think one of the things about being a difference maker and nonprofit and giving back to the community is that it's important for us to remember that even as we're givers, that we need to nurture ourselves. Right. That we are important, we are loved, and we need to fill our vessel with love, with receiving. And that, for me, even as a nurse, as a giver, it's like, oh, I need to receive? How do you do that? That has been a very hard lesson for me. Well, just know <laughs> that you can learn to do that. And that's the balance, that you give so much to other people that allow people to do for you without you doing anything. Well, my very, very dear friend Michelle Villalobos told me that in the very first couple of weeks, I was told that if I didn't learn how to do it, I would pass. So yeah. I had to uh, quickly learn because I really was unaware that I did it. Right. Um, because if you're a giver, a lot of times you don't realize that if you keep giving and you don't fill it back up, there comes a point that you're just depleted. depleted. And so would you drive your car on empty? Well, since I don't drive, probably. Well, you don't drive, <laughs> but I'm saying that whole, how, so one of the things that, that I've right. learned you're is to, aware. we need to refuel ourselves with sleep, sleep. Mm -hmm. with love, with receiving from another person, let somebody else drive you somewhere, mm -hmm. let somebody take you yes. to dinner, and also through energy, so meditation, mm -hmm. quieting, the reason illness or other things there's emotional reasons but we can bring ourselves into balance through connecting through love through holistic healing I do Reiki and some uh, theta healing which has to do with the subconscious reasons or beliefs about ourselves and to bringing you into balance that way wow. or with sound so here's a crystal bowl and the crystal bowls carry a vibration and has a musical note and our bodies and our cells of our body have water in them. And to bring that energy of the vibration when they're stressed, we close off our muscles, we tighten up. You know, our mind has all these thoughts going on and we don't relax. So allowing peace and bringing them into balance. So here's a, like a vibration. You could close your eyes if you want or keep them open. Oh, you can feel that. that right here yeah yeah and so um, yeah yeah so as simple as that for a moment and that's a, that's wow <laughs> <laughs> so when your body because we all vibrate so a vibration of peace or alignment that you deserve to be nurtured every single person children so I teach children as young as three to meditate to do self-healing they love the bowls, they love drumming, any vibration to bring themselves into balance, to remind them that they're special and loved. 
I do Reiki and sound with Vietnam veterans for the last three years, once a month. Uh -huh. They love it. Um, so I teach people that you could do this to yourself. Mm -hmm. And or you can come and just receive mm -hmm. from me, lie on a table and have my healing hands and the sounds of vibration played on your body, like you could have this bowl on your body and you would feel the vibration oh. through your body. That's amazing. And that we need to take the time for ourselves. No, that's a great lesson. That is amazing. That's amazing. So that's amazing that, is that, is crystal bowls, is that something new? I, I know of meditation, I've heard of Reiki, I've heard right. of all those things. The crystal bowls, and, or brain bowls, I've heard of those. Right. Is this, is, is this? They've been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. I think uh, as w the world, the earth is more open mm -hmm. to these holistic ways of healing, mm -hmm. that it's not so, you know, that we don't have to think that. It can be easy, because we all, we're all energy. energy. Right. So when you're stressed, right you feel your and different people hold stress in different parts some people it's their neck their shoulders their lower back so if we don't break that cycle with sleep or shifting the vibration when we shift that vibration like you felt it here that's opening the oxygen the blood you're nurturing your cells mm -hmm. and the thought that it only needs really we just had a little demonstration but that was like five minutes what if you you know, five minutes of nurturance. If you did right. that, ten minutes a day, or come and see me. So your avocation is really just to, I mean, do I'm these ready, things. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Anytime you can continue. Oh, okay. so we are continuing. <laughs> yeah. So the idea behind this is really, this is a new. I mean, for many, I mean, I think a lot of people know about meditation. Right. Obviously, exercise, all of those things. But this, this is is really, uh, uh, I think, for a lot of people, new. Right. Um, they might have heard about it. But I'm, I think I'm, you know, I would love to advocate, try something new. And, but I think more importantly, the lesson of life of to fill your cup back up and, right. and to take the time for yourself here and to be able to take that time. I, I can imagine for five minutes what you did for me. Right. But if I was to take 30 minutes or to become a student of this and to practice this, it would, right. be, it would be really, I think, life-changing. Well, that's how I, and I did for myself. So any of these practices you can, you know, I teach you, you could do self-healing mm -hmm. or do the sound and spend that time on yourself. Or you could have me come to, like for kids' school, I've been to the Milagro Center and taught them and they receive, you know, like an hour session or, or work where you come back to your pr pr productivity and self-esteem and to get yourself in balance okay. instead of having just say smoking breaks or whatever <laughs> you have restorative breaks. breaks that's great you know so I'm gonna put your information on our difference maker so why don't you take us out with your okay bowl? so everyone yeah. you could just close your eyes or you can keep them open there's no rules <laughs> I'm <gonna close laughs> just my eyes allow yourself to receive and know that each one of you is important that each one of you make a difference and that you deserve to receive love in every cell of your being. And if you need any more information, um, Karen Truon, uh, website is ReikiKaren.com or my number is 954-478-6749. And what a blessing to be here. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for coming and Thank thanks for you. making it.